Hello and welcome back to FEM Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to change or set different settings in FEM Design software. You can find settings from here or you can find them from here. Let's go here and here, select all, and you can see that the settings appear on my screen. And here you have window, display, calculation, drawing, and environment. Let's start with the window. Here you can change the units that are being used by FemDesign. You have length, angle, sectional data, force, mass, displacements, and stress. By pressing them, you can see different options for that. For example, for the stress and displacements. And you can also change the scale here, which is changed, uh, like for me, it's 75. But here is also a note that this parameter has only effect in the text size. And it also says that please don't use or change the scale if you are not advanced user. For snapping, we will actually go through the selection functions that you can actually see down here. Uh, more uh, through in a better way in the next uh, video. So we will skip this part. And here you can change the grid. Uh, either you want to display grid or what is the grid size. For me it's set, it is set to 2 meters currently and it's the length of the grid, one grid box. And here you can also change the co-coordinate system do you want to display it and the size size of that co-coordinate system for the display these uh, settings or properties are actually also in the quick tools so whenever you want to make changes to these you don't have to go to settings if you have your quick tools uh, function active here you can easily change them from here For the calculation, you can first find the code. And for me, it's set only to error code without any national annex. But here you can change the national annex depending on your location or where you're doing your design work. Also, when you're holding your pointer over the national annex, you can see all the codes that FemDesign is using when calculating. And for the soil calculation, you can select either to calculate soil as solid element or not. And here you can also find rigid values for supports, connections and fixtures bars. And for the cover, you can change some of the uh, properties that the cover will use as when it's converting the surveys loads on acting, uh, sorry, loads acting on a cover. And here are some special conditions or the guides for special conditions. And if you are a user of prefab print, you can change some settings when connecting FemDesign to prefab print or when working with prefab print. Here you can also change some settings for your mesh, like uh, how to calculate average element size or bar element parameters. And here you can see functions for the mesh, how to generate surface mesh, how to check mesh, or how to smooth mesh. And for the preparation, how to generate mesh automatically on the changed objects. And one important part here is peak smoothing. So here you can see the peak smoothing method for different uh, cases and the methods that the FemDesign will use when doing big smoothing. And here you can see automatic settings and for me you can see that big out of big smoothing reaching around is gonna be done, column endpoints and point supports. You can also 
set these easily to be, for example, as a team endpoints. For the analysis, you can uh, check the automatic save and either uh, software will find identical copies before calculating and how to manage edge connection, ed connections before calculations. And here you can actually see results only have a bar result step distance. And in the drawing, you can actually set the title, I'm sorry, title for your uh, uh, project. And this uh, text, and oh, sorry, project description, designer and signature, this will be handy when you're doing your documentation. So they will be automatically generated to your documentation. And in the environment, you will see, find the most basic settings like general here you can see system time save startup view and highlight functions and the graphic engine that you will be using with fem design you can find directories cursor like you can change the cursor size here or guideline and tracker and one very important that we actually checked in the one video is commands and functions and the command uh, how you can find that command by typing it to your keyboard but these were all the important settings that you will you will find from frame design and once again thank you for watching and let's see you in the next video